The Danebank Green Space Group has adopted a new remit to promote and deliver the vision it has for improvement of the Winds Road fields. Launched in July 2016, the campaign to stop housing development was a resounding success. Well, of course, at the moment there isn't a planning application, and when there is, it's really important that people stick to what the uh, planners call material planning considerations and that's basically planning policies that have been created over the past 20 or 30 years in documents like the Unitary Development Plan and so things like protected open space are really important factors. The Danebank Green Space Group want to remain active and move forward with plans to protect the site, promote biodiversity and introduce new activities that will benefit local schools families and community groups. The intention is to focus on environmental awareness and education, health, welfare and well-being. We have consulted with the public in Dane Bank on several occasions to keep everyone informed and importantly to seek their ideas for the future. We have worked hard to keep the public informed. We held two public consultations in October 2019. This was to share the community vision for the green space and gain valuable feedback on the proposals. Feedback was overwhelmingly supportive, with lots of views and new ideas shared. So we're here today uh, to create some public consultations about Game Bank Green Space and uh, phase three of our ambition which is all about developing this piece of land for the community. Um, we've took over, for the past three years, we've took everybody's feedback on board, um, we've tried to create something in mind of what everybody said within the community. However, we never know if we've nailed it or not, so this is about coming back now, showing the plans, showing how we've put it onto paper and seeing if the community are happy and like the idea. Is. Uh, the concept will be today we'll get everybody's feedback and we'll take it on board and we'll adapt and we'll change and actually I'm sure there's more great ideas out there that we can uh, that we can put into it so that's the idea but everything that we do we're going to need uh, funding and um, all the, the funding bodies will want to see that we've consulted with our, with, our, with our community and that it's about the community, it's a community project for the community built by the community so it's really important that uh, we consult with them today. We showed our 3D animated video of the vision, kindly made by David Livesey at Studio L49, which really helped bring the whole concept to life. We want to show you today Phase 3, so the, the fight to win the land was phase, one, uh, phase 1, Phase 2 was all about getting your feedback, kind of putting the wheels in motion, putting lottery bids in place and stuff, So, uh, which we'll discuss later. Uh, and phase three will be, it's here, it's ready and we're going to use it as a community. So this bit now is we want to take you through is what phase three would actually look like. We want to talk to other community organisations. We want to work much more closely with the schools, the two primary schools. We know we're very interested in what we're doing and we'd love their kids to get involved, bringing classes out to the lodge and being taken and escorted around the site to appreciate wildlife and the environment. It's a really important part of the curriculum now and uh, it's high on the agenda for everybody. Um, we also want to work closely with the library as well uh, and all the community groups across uh, Denmark. The Eldwick people where we'll be able to drive up to the pond, park up and within a couple of yards you can be on the bank fishing where we've never been able to do that in the past. Um, so what we've done is we've all joined together with the wildlife and green space and made a stronger fight for this land and we can develop this land for the future now. Good afternoon, I'm Danny, I'm from Thameside's People for Wildlife or Wildlife People <laughs> or whatever it is. Yeah. <laughs> it's irrelevant really. What isn't irrelevant is what we do. Here at Thameside's People for Wildlife we conduct two areas of work and they are animal rescues along with activities and education. Having the opportunity to work alongside the community within Dane Bank and the surrounding areas is an opportunity we are grateful for. All our activities will be based around nature and wildlife and will consist of activities suitable for all ages and backgrounds, from pond dipping for the younger enthusiasts to photography and art groups for the creative people out there. 
Through our activities, we aim to bring both community and wildlife together, with both benefiting. We also would like to bring some of our rescues on site and give them a home that the community will be a big part of. From a vibrant duck pond to the opportunity to help and participate in the falconry hobby whilst bringing sick and injured birds back to good health again, strengthening that bridge between community and wildlife. Access to green space was associated with improved mental well-being, overall health and cognitive development of children. It promotes attention restoration, memory, competence, supportive social groups, self-discipline, moderate stress and improves behaviours and symptoms of ADHD and ASD. The impacts on mental well-being, social networks and sustainable communities probably work through a variety of mechanisms and it's in these areas that the strongest evidence is emerging that urban green space can improve the public's health. It's, I think it's absolutely fantastic, you know, the community group coming together and now obviously we've got the partnership together, I think it's absolutely fantastic what they're doing. A lot of work has very clearly gone into this and uh, we hope to work with them going forward, you know, going forward and develop their plans and hope we can get it right for the whole community. And we're very, very, you know, uh, proud of their ambitions and how much they've achieved so far. We want to show you today phase three, so the, the fights with the line was fights, not the phase one. Phase two was all about getting your feedback, kind of putting the wheels in motion, putting lottery bits in place and stuff, So, uh, which we'll discuss later. Uh, and phase three will be, it's here, it's ready, and we're going to use it as a community. So this bit now is we want to take you through is what phase three would actually look like.